Ooh, it's about to get nasty. Today I'm gonna to be reading some of your savage hate comments and of course your hate mail because y'all don't can find y'all hatred to my comment section on YouTube. Mm -mm. Y'all love to come up on my DM and love to hit me up in the email. I mean like that takes so much energy just to tell me how much you dislike me and my channel. So I figured what better way to start 2023 off than with some positivity aka hate mail. So without further ado, let the hate begin. I love the smell of hatred in the morning. So first things first, I've been on YouTube for about three years and let me just tell you that 95 and a half percent of the comments that I get are very welcoming, warm and positive. But one video in particular, well two, but one in particular really stirred up the hornet's nest. What? And the comments that have been really, really negative have come from one video in particular, Caribbean immigrants versus African Americans video. Damn. One of the most respectful conversations I've ever had with the guest Incredibly benign, but for some reason, some people just got really, really upset. If you haven't watched that video, please watch it up above. So that's where I got the majority of the hate comments. Okay, so let's kick things off with one of my personal favorites, Boot Tribe 9315, who is like, I think he's African American. Well, yeah, he's African American. He identified himself as such. He's one of the most angry people I've ever met in my entire life, virtually. So he says, you people only want to have arguments and no, let me read this, how he probably was reading it in his basement somewhere. You people only want to have arguments in somebody else's country and never in your own country. Like, why do you always go to someone else's country and squat and try to claim their heritage? Angry cuss face, angry cuss face. I bet you in the United States somewhere not even thinking about your homeland. And I replied, you're right. All I think about is America now and you because I love both of you so much. And because Boot Tribe 9315 doesn't understand sarcasm and he certainly doesn't get my sense of humor, he replies, at least you're keeping it real. You ain't never going back. Black Americans don't know what it's like to squat in other countries and refuse to leave or fix your own country. Yeah. <coughs> that wasn't him spitting. There was something on the tip of my tongue. I just had to get it off. It was just bothering me. And you know why I'm never going back? Because you and me's gonna settle down and have a boatload of cheerings. Yes, sir. We're gonna get married. And guess what? You won't be able to go to your Eidos meetings anymore. No, because they won't have you considering that you're married to a Bahamian gal and you have these mixed breed cheerings. Get out of here. And let me address this squatting thing because I don't know who you think you're talking to about any squatting. I don't squat in America. Let me show you something, boss. You see this? You see these H&R block envelopes? Huh? I still have plenty of taxes around here, boss. So don't come around here with no squat. I ain't in this country squatting. I pay plenty taxes. I pay more taxes here in America than I ever paid in my entire life in the Bahamas. So get out of here. You know what squatting mean, boss? You lucky me and you getting married and having both loaded children. Yes, I would Whoa. Anyway, moving on. This one comes courtesy of an Instagram troll. I don't even remember the person's name. I remember screenshotting the, the comment that they made. They said, <laughs> Now this one really hurt me, I, I ain't gonna lie. This is so true, it's so true. He or she said, you have a double chin, Ma. You might want to avoid turning sideways. Well, I see your double chin. And I raise you this neck brace. And hopefully this neck brace goes a long way in helping me with my double chin so when I turn sideways, you don't see it. Let me tell you something, you Instagram troll. I have had a double chin since I was a child, okay? This is hereditary, okay? I can't do anything about it. I'm not about to go and have any liposuction to get rid of it, okay? So if you don't like my double chin, you're gonna have to just look at me when I'm just staring straight into the camera. You know something? You know something? This is my spiteful nature. You hate my double chin, this double chin ain't going nowhere. And let me tell you another thing. I am going to hit every 15 and 45 and 90 degree angle just to spite you. And you know what? I am just might go and get me a triple chin. On to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. This one is also an Instagram hater who slid into my DM. These are people who, again, who watch my videos and then after they watch my videos, they decide, oh, you know what? I hate this girl so much. I have to go into her personal message on DM. Um, on Instagram to let them know how much I don't like her. Oh, this one is known as D-Boy, D-B-O-Y. Hey, D-Boy, I watch your videos. Thank you. 
I don't like you. Huh? You talk too much. Just shut up and get to the point. Sorry, Daddy. I'll, I'll be good. You cut me deep. What do you mean I talk too much? I don't talk too much. I mean, I like to just have a good conversation with people. I mean, I don't see myself talking too much, but you always talk about get to the point. Like, okay, what do you mean when you say get to the point? So this next commenter says, all her stupid hand gestures are making me dizzy. What have you done? This next piece of hate mail comes from an Instagram user by the name of Lloyd who came into my DM. And he says, you look like you have bad breath. Well, for the record, Lloyd, I don't have bad breath. Anymore. Ain't nobody with a name that begins with two L's telling me a damn thing. Where did you even get that from? I don't even have yuck mouth. Like, what? what is it about my... Why am I even asking Lloyd, L-L-O-Y-D, what he thinks? On to the next one. This next hate mail comes from at bjames3605. Kitties, whatever you do, don't be James. He says, I'm about halfway through your very long, disrespectful, factless interview. It's obvious you have contempt for us FBA foundational black Americans. Laughing face, laughing face. <laughs> you sound very jealous. I can't say I'm surprised. I'm thankful for Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Claude Anderson, Marcel Dixon, Six the Goddess, Black Alpha Network, and others that represent us well. We don't need you speaking for us. If you and your immigrant friends are so smart, why can't you go back to your homeland and apply your advice and fix it? That way you wouldn't have to come to my country. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face. Thank you for reading my comments. This guy sounds like the yin to Maga's yang. Smiley face, smiley face. Oh, Simeon 00 says, I'm sorry, but you need to get to the point. What is he? Oh. That's the second post she told me I need to get to the point. So now I'm the common denominator. I mean, listen, I'm, I may say people are haters, but I mean, I'm also very introspective. And this is now the second person who said it. So maybe I just need to get to the point. I do have a tendency to ramble from time to time. I mean, I really just... The next hater on deck is Ant Smith 5956 What's with all these numbers? You know, must be bots. And she was responding to Charlie Shaw 7423, another hater and a bot, who says, that woman is a fraud, that woman being me. That's what they're talking to. I simply mentioned that black Americans have 50,000 inventions and have been doctors, lawyers, engineers since the 1800s. And she deleted my comment. They hate to acknowledge our accomplishments because their history is so insignificant. I may be a liar. I may be a thief. But I am not a fraud. Let me just say something. I have never deleted a comment on my YouTube channel. In the three years that I've been on this platform, I have not deleted one comment. I have not blocked one person, whether they were nice to me, I don't know why I would block somebody who's nice, or hated me, or said something that was really hurtful to me. I've never deleted them. I think the only way I would ever delete someone or block them is if they said something that, that, that incited violence or harm. That's probably the only way. If you're talking about me personally, I don't, I don't really care. Now, here's the thing, that's me, I nice. YouTube has its own policies. YouTube may have seen something that you said. I don't know if that's all you simply said because I didn't see your comment, but YouTube has its own reasons for moving things. So you need to take that up with YouTube and sundry. That ain't got nothing to do with me, but I didn't delete your comment and I know damn fraud. Hi, I'm the kind admirer of the stuffed doggy I love. I visit the Bahamas on a cruise. I got to get off and visit Nassau. This was a few years ago. I love this listening to your experience moving to the United States. Oh gosh. You're wearing my favorite color red. And your vibe reminds me of <laughs> Star's heart. Sending happy vibes. Your way, beautiful queen. Prayer emoji. Listen, so you never thought I was gonna come here on the YouTubes. <laughs> Let y'all talk trash about me, read all these hateful comments, and not show Yena how much the world loves me. And yes, he had some misspellings too. I'm not going to let him slide. Thank you so much, user FB1YS2LJ9C. Y'all gotta be bots. Ooh, 
What's this in my eye? Let me get that out before somebody say, and you got Bibby in your eye. It's y'all don't let nothing up. Because I can't give you no, nothing to talk about. Y'all just hate, 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 hate. I good? Okay. I swear. Me, 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 me. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one comes from Tony P. He left a comment on my YouTube channel. This, Tony P. This better not be Tony Parker. Here's what he writes. <clears throat> I can't stand Bahamians. Y'all are the worst. Too uppity. Think you so smart and y'all down no sh down no y'all. That's what we don't. Hmm. Y'all, I guess y'all don't know. Sh <laughs> good luck with your struggle channel. Oh, good luck with your struggle channel. Thank you. Thank you, Tony Parker. He said good luck. I love well wishes. Let me tell you something, Tony Parker. Y'all better stop playing around with these Bahamians, you know. Now, I nice. I am nice. But that, the Bahamians, that's the original b hat. They dangerous. You are going to invoke CYC Nation. Don't provoke them because you invoke something bad. And all I have to say is you put it on yourself. This next love note comes from Jorge V, 4865, Jorge V. 4865. And this was in response to my video on America the Not So Great, um, where I talk about things that immigrants should know before packing up and moving to America. The good, bad, the ugly, the indifferent, everything that they, I felt that they should know. So he responds, this is not what it's like in the US. It's what it's like for you. You're making generalizations when you should be only speaking about your experience alone. This country gave me a home. It welcomed me. It's been good to me. Many others say the same. So make it clear that you're speaking only for yourself, not as if it's the truth. And stop bashing the country that's giving you the opportunity. Let me tell you something, Jorge de 4865. I was speaking for myself. I don't know if you heard, but you came to my channel, this Bahamian gal, clicked on my video where I talk about what America has been like for me. I said a lot of good in that video, Jorge. I said things that I felt immigrants need to know. Now, I'm happy for you that your experience has been all peaches and cream, but that's not the reality for a lot of immigrants, certainly not myself. So I don't have to say that this is my experience alone. When I open up my camera and I upload a video, I am speaking about my experience. Nobody else is Jorge de 4865. Gracias. Y que tengo un buen día. This next piece of hate mail comes from a DM hater known as Tones. Tones, okay. And this is what he says. You're not funny. You think you're funny, but you're not funny. Why? O. U. Apostrophe. R. E. That is all. So finally, because I had to condense so much of the hate mail that I got, because it just would have been going on and on, uh, I want to end with this fella. Um, I think it's a guy. It's called Who Else 9494. Now, at first I thought this was hate mail, but after I reread it, I, I realized it's not hate mail. It's an observation. So uh, Who Else 9494 says, The funny thing is most African Americans and Caribbeans don't mind getting together and having sex with each other, despite whatever hangups each group may have. I'm sure you'd lay down with a black American man in a heartbeat. I would. I have. And I will again. Just as I would lay down with a Caribbean woman at the drop of a dime. Is that so? Well, I just happen to have a dime at my disposal. <laughs> Sounds like we got a lot of talking to do offline, soldier. You hear? How you do? Well, kitties, my head is bloodied, bruised, but not bowed. As you heard, I have a lot of haters. I never thought the day would come. I don't want haters. That's not fun to me. It's not nice to open up my YouTube comments and see people saying trash about me. I'm very respectful towards people. I'm kind and I try to be civil. I'd rather supporters. But one thing I do know is that you do learn more from your haters than you ever will from your admirers. Critics are the ones who help you to grow. For example, I plan to brush my teeth more so that I don't come across like I have bad breath. 
I intend to make sure that my hands stay down. I'm gonna use this neck brace to get this double chin under control. And when I don't have my neck brace, I'm gonna jet my chin out so that I don't develop a further triple chin. I won't do it. One of the things that I've realized in my short time on earth is that haters are nothing more than confused admirers. So in 2023, don't get bitter, get better. I hope you've been thoroughly entertained by my video. Mm. But before I go, I want to leave you with a little reenactment from one of my all-time favorite movies from the 80s, The Color Purple. It's a pivotal scene in the movie where Celie finally stands up to her abusive husband, Albert, and reclaims her voice. It takes back her power. Will you join me? you done to me already done to you i'm poor black i may even be ugly but dear god i'm here i'm here that's about as far as i can go Ow.